Oh, cool. It landed. Blessings, everybody. God bless you, and thank you for being with us for another edition of A Spiritual Connection. You know it is the program that's purposed to bridge the gap between disenfranchised members of our society by providing this platform for believers from different walks of life to share their testimonies and to share just how good God has been in their lives. We're excited. We're excited to have another amazing guest today. We'll both be meeting her uh, for the first time and it warms my heart when anyone reaches out because they've seen the program and asked to be a part of it, asked to share your testimonies and that's exactly what it's for. It's not my platform, it's your platform to come in and share about the goodness of God in your life. We are excited to have a, an amazing lady. Of course, um, I hope your week has been uh, tremendous. I hope it's been a blessing. I hope and pray that God has been speaking to your heart, uh, that he's been showing you exceedingly, abundantly, above anything you ask or think according to the power that works in you. We hope and pray that all of your needs are met. Uh, if you have lost loved ones to COVID-19, we pray that God gives you peace that passes all understanding. We just pray and thank God for you. And we ask that you just hold on to his unchanging hand he has amazing things in store for you. He has not forgotten about you. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. So we just bless God for being God. Just to know that we are not in this by ourselves. But we have a God who can solve everything, who can fix everything. We just thank God for the life also. We thank God for the life of Chief Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, we just... Thank God for her service to the world, uh, the notorious RBG she's so noted for because mm -hmm. she was radical in what she did in standing uh, for us as a people. So we give God thanks for uh, her life, for her life, Chief Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Her name is a little tongue twister. We honor God for her. And we honor God for our guest today, our guest today is Talisha Gatlin. 
Talisha. Am I saying it right? Talisha or Talisha? It's Talisha. It is Talisha. Talisha yes. Gatlin. Yes. We're so honored, honored to have you here. And thank you for reaching out to be a part of the program. Amen. We know that you are a mother of two. Yes. Uh, and you credit yourselves for being an example uh, to your children. And we're going to learn so much more about you in this next hour. Amen. You sing. We've got your music all queued up. Amen. We're going to hear it. So thank you, sis. Thank you. Why don't you, you share with us what God has done in your life that made you want to reach out and share it with us today? You know, I met Sister Odessa. I don't recall her last oh, name. Oh, Seekers. Yes. Yes. I met her at Irvine Valley College. Okay. And she addressed me as woman of God. And yes. she shared her testimony. And we, we prayed and she gave me her book. And I said, wow, this is awesome. And then I happened to be on Facebook scrolling alone. I said, well, check her out. Yes. She's on the radio station. So I have been following along since I met her back in February. Yeah. And um, some things was going on. And then... I watched the radio station again, and uh, I said, let me just type, I would love to be on that show. Yeah. I would love to share a testimony. I would love to encourage a believer. I would love to save a sinner. Wonderful. Let me just go ahead and reach out. So that's what I did, and I'm happy to be here and just, just grateful. We're grateful to have you here, yes. and thank you for that being courageous and being bold and reaching out and yes. wanting to give God glory. Yes. What is it? Alicia, that he has done in your life that you are glorifying him about today. That he is El Shaddai. Hallelujah. He is more than enough. Yes. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the Lord that heals. Yes. He is Jehovah Shammah. He Hallelujah. is the Lord that is there. Yes. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. Yes, he is. And he is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. Hallelujah. Uh, God has allowed me to overcome having four brain surgeries. Four brain surgeries. And six rounds of daily radiation. Four brain surgeries. Surgeries. My and God. my God, you know, I'm I'm a single parent. Yeah. So the people who were supposed to be there, they weren't there for me. Mm -hmm. But God did allow a few people to stay yoked up with me yes. to encourage me. No, no, you're gonna keep on going. You're gonna do what God compels you to do, and that's exactly what I did. Yes. And the path was not easy at all. But I just as I tell my children, I am being an example. And I just shared this as you told me to write, my, you know, a quick yes. bio. Yes. I said, that's all it is. Yes. Because sometimes I can tell you, but it's better if I show you. Yes. So I'm showing my children, this is how you walk with God. Yes. No matter what, you can't, you can't look to the left, you can't look to the right, just stay focused. Mm. Think about Peter. Yes. yes, he walked on water, but when he wasn't looking, like, hey guys, check me out, mm. check me out. And he began to sing. He sing. Mm. But as soon as, but as soon as you sink, God's hand is already he, right he's there. Merciful. Just as soon as you look up, yes. He's already right there. Hallelujah. So he I knew He was God. Look up. Yes, he knew yes. He, was gonna sink. And yes. he is that kind of God. Yes, he you is. know. I heard in what you were saying, train up a child in the way he should go, and when yes. he's old, he will not depart yes. from it. Yes. So praise God for you raising yes. up your children in the way they should go Amen. and living a life of holiness in their presence. Yes. How old are your children? My son is 11 uh -huh. and my daughter is 9. Wonderful ages. Yes. Wonderful. The wonderful. Bonds. All right. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful ages. What would you say to the person who uh, God used to latch on? to give you the strength, the courage, the support that you needed to make it through. While those who you anticipated being there were not there, God had a ram in the bush. He had yes. someone else there for you. What yes. would you say to those people today who were there for you when you needed them to be? I'm so grateful that you followed through your, just having obedience to Holy Spirit. Yes. Just, that's it. Yes. Not, not a... I appreciate the five dollars or the hug or the text. No, thank you for your obedience to God. Yeah. Because God told you to come here. He already had it appointed for you to come here and help me. Yeah. So I'm grateful that you did. And to God be all the glory, right? Glory to God be to all God. the glory. And all that is it. the thing. God will use people. Yes. However, He chooses to use yes. them to be a blessing to yes. His people. Yes. We are a body jointly fit together. Yes, and that are. is why He has us here. Yes. Is to support one another. And yes. so I give God praise for, for your wisdom. You said your mission as a mother is to follow Christ wholeheartedly. What do you mean by that? You know, the disciples didn't follow Jesus when things were bad. Mm -hmm. 
they followed him when things were awesome. Mm. And I had the opportunity to grow up in church. So I got to learn, you know, how to usher, how to sing in a choir, you know, how to do different things in church. But it's about your relationship. Yes. It's not about our religion. It's about our relationship. And to walk with God, is it is to walk out on water. Mm -hmm. It is to have faith. It is to look at that mountain and say, you know what? I don't... You got to you got to move. Yes. You you got to move. Hallelujah. Because we're we are already fighting a war. We're already mm -hmm. in battle. But now I know I walk and and I'm fighting from a place of victory because of the blood that was shed on Calvary. Yes. So wholeheartedly is thinking about the things that God has done and the things that Jesus said that's so important, which is everything in his word. Yes. So we must walk it. Hallelujah. We must walk it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and we thank him for bringing you through yes. those uh, brain tumors. I mean, six months after nursing your daughter is when you were diagnosed with prolactinoma. Yes. A high protein level indicating that there is a brain tumor. Mm -hmm. Six months after nursing your daughter. I mean, what was that transition like and, and what did, how did God intervene? In that moment for you well I was in in the middle of splitting with my children's dad mm -hmm. so to add it to get a bad report was mm -hmm. like what I, and I thought a worldly way mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get my will I'm gonna make sure I up mm -hmm. the insurance policy I'm gonna talk to my sister I'm gonna stay away from people who really don't love me I'm gonna make sure I go to church and that was the one thing that I really didn't even do it was to get, when, when God tugged on me at 5 o'clock in the morning, Yes. it's time to have tea with me, daughter. It's time to hear me speak to you, daughter. Mm -hmm. That's what pulled me through. Mm -hmm. And my pastor in Louisiana, Pastor Adrian, well, Bishop now, Bishop Claiborne, he said, just do what God compels you to do. Yes. And know that his arms are not too short to reach you. And his ears aren't too dull to hear you. Yes. He's on time, Talisha. Yes. And I didn't... I didn't understand that because I was going through, mm -hmm. but I had to not look at everything. I had to just look at just look at God. You got me, God, because my vision got real bad and I lost vision in my right yes. eye. So yes. to see my children, I had to put. We had to go forehead to forehead so I can see their face. Yeah, and that's so heartbreaking because at the time my daughter was two and a half, and my son was what five, mm -hmm. and. I remember my daughter putting her hand over my eye and said, in Jesus' name, you're healed, Mama. Hallelujah. And, and my son took his finger and pointed right there. Mama, that thing is going to go away. It's going to go away. And yes, it did over mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But every bad report from the doctor, actually, actually every report from the doctor, yes. I'm healed in the name of Jesus on uh, May 14, 2000. 15 yes. you know I had to write it down yes. I had to write it down but I had to walk it out mm -hmm. and to hear that because my you know just knowing that my my daughter was just born I had to go through tests I mean I went to doctor's appointments 10 times a week mm -hmm. I had to see a blood specialist I had to see an endocrinologist I had to see a neurologist they want me to see a psychologist because they think I'm crazy because I have no symptoms mm -hmm. and just one thing after another but God God let me in those places because it wasn't for me. Yeah, it was for me to release healing in that place. Come on, Jesus. But He didn't let me go through that much until I knew where my strength came from. Yes. Until I knew I were I was healed, as the Bible says, by His stripes we were are. healed. Ooh, so that means we're already it's healed already before done. you even have a cough. We're already oh, healed yes. right now. Yeah. So once once I got that power and learned how to walk in victory. Okay, the bad reports kept coming. Oh, I got to go see a heart specialist. Something wrong with my heart, too? Mm -hmm. You know, no. I went there. Hey, can I pray with you? Mm -hmm. We're healed. We're healed. Let me share with you what Jesus did. What a blessing. Let me, let me give you your real medicine. Jesus. So you went to minister mm -hmm. and to let God use you in yes. that arena yes. without considering yourself, without even thinking about what you were going through. You were reaching out. And being a blessing to other people. Yep. Girl, that's God. You hear me? <laughs> Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a testament of his greatness. I am yes. honored to hear what he is doing and how he is using his people and how we should respond. Uh, given some 
bad news. Whose report will we believe, right? Right. right. We have to believe the report of the Lord. Yes, indeed. And he said, by his stripes we are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I know you are encouraging someone out there today, Talisha, with your testament Praise of God. his greatness in your life. Uh, you've also written a song or two. And let's see, what do we have coming up? Uh, we are going to hear one of your tracks called I Can't Go Back. I can't go back. Uh, so we're spiritually connecting with Talisha Williams here on the Real Urban Radio Network. We've got one of her tunes coming up called I Can't Go Back. Yes. So just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy how God is using this amazing vessel of honor. We're on the Real Urban Radio Network. Willie Will is here. Talisha's here. I'm here. We're glad you're there. And we'll be back right after this. God bless you. Thank you. Let's check out Talisha's uh, song. I can't go back. Can't go back. It's not an option. No, not do it. connecting here on the Real Urban Radio Network. Yeah, that's it. That's a great song. It is what it is. No apology necessary, Willie Will. We can broadcast that, and we just did. I can't go back. Wow, I love it. That's got a hook, sister. That's got a nice <laughs> hook. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Yes. Where were you? What place were you in when you penned that song? I was out of work in a row. Mm -hmm. After my first brain surgery and I was up doing well, I started dating again and I was drifting off. I was out of alignment, mm -hmm. you know, like when you don't get your, your uh, tires changed, your, mm -hmm. your car drifts off. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, no, that's not right. Mm -hmm. And 
God speaks to me and I and and I hear Holy Spirit telling me that this needs to end. Mm -hmm. You you got to end this. Yeah. And I went to church. A prophet came and said, "You're here for a healing." And I was like, "I'm I'm already healed. Mm -hmm. I'm already healed." And about a week later, my vision, I lost my vision again. Mm -hmm. And then the person that I was dating drifted off. Mm -hmm. um, children's debt, issues with that. Just on every hand, there was something going on. And I lost my housing. I was a, a happy recipient of Section 8. Mm -hmm. and it's a gift sometimes that yes. God uses to yes. bridge the gap for mm -hmm. us. Been there, sister. Been there. <laughs> yes, and I lost it. So I was Been there too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just at a fork in the road, like, wait, if I go this outlet, it's gonna end over here. I was already there. Yeah. If I turn over here, I'm still gonna be back with that person. Or I'm gonna be dealing with this. I'm gonna be dealing with that. No, no. No. I can't. I can't. Because really I was blind because I didn't know mm. the truth. Mm. But continuously reading my Bible that I learned and I began to change and I began, you know, began to trust and God yes. helped my unbelief. Yeah. And praise God, I chose no more. Mm. I can't. Can't go back. I can't because my children are looking at me. I want my daughter mm. to be like, oh no, my mom was strong. Mm -hmm. I want mm -hmm. my son to be like, I'm, yeah, I'm going to treat my wife right. Yes. I want to do the right thing according yes. to the word of God. Yes. yes. And that's what placed me there. You know, and, I'm sorry just, to cut you off. That, that's so significant, Talisha, to know that your actions right now will have an impact on your children's lives Lord. in the years to come. So to be able to make that sacrifice now, to be a living epistle in their presence, yes. is super important. Go ahead, sis. Continue. I thank you for that. Yes. Um, I just made the declaration that I can't go back. Can't go back. Can't I can't go, go back. back. It's a beautiful song. So is it on uh, social media, on platforms? Yes, where it's, can it's on. Up, please, can't you guys go can back. go get it and go play it. Yes. It is on all digital platforms. Yes. Um, I'm in the process right now of doing a video for it. Wonderful. So we're working things out to get that done. But it's it's there. It's under Talisha Williams. Yes. Um, and just, just go get it and be encouraged. Yes. That's, that's what it is. It's a very encouraging song. It's a very encouraging song. Thank you for letting God use you to pen that to be a blessing to us. Mm -hmm. uh, so you did mention and you lost your vision in your in your right eye after the four tumors and the six rounds of daily radiation. Um, God is restoring you now, though. Yes, sis? Yes. 2018, uh, you had surgery. That was my last one. And and you are being restored. Restoration is here. Yes, yes. Because at that last appointment, the doctor shared the tumor came back. So we're going to go ahead and cut open your skull mm -hmm. and scrape around there, and you'll have to wear a helmet. Mm -hmm. My mom fell out. My niece was in there. She, at the time, she was about two, and um, she was just, of course, she started crying because Granny was crying. Mm -hmm. Then my children started crying. But I had to look at that doctor in his face, right in his eyes, to tell him that that's not what God says. Oh. Because he didn't give me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound, sound mind. Man. And with this sound mind, with what you think it's, is in there, yes. I'm telling you that God has a plan for my life. Yes. And it's to give me a future and a hope and never to harm me. And that does not line Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah. And he said, oh. Hallelujah. well, I'm going to pray too. I said, well, go ahead. Because yes. I've already done that. Ooh. I've already done that. You know, and that was spoken with such power and such conviction. And I believe, sis, that that's what we all have to do in yes. times of despair. Yes, we is do. Is to hold on to the word of God. Yes. Know that his word is true. Yes. That it will not come back void. Yes. That he, Must. oh my gosh, that he is that healer who he says he is. Yes. He is our provider. Yes. He is all that. So we have to take confidence. Yes. In knowing that he is who he say he is. Exactly which is whatever we need. Yes. You know, an estimated 700,000 Americans are living with a brain tumor, 69% uh, benign, 30% malignant. What would you say to someone who has received a bad report, whether it is a brain tumor or any 
bad report, cancer, COVID, what would you say to that individual? Take a deep breath and center yourself. Mm -hmm. So in centering yourself, you're reminding yourself, I am well. If you if you're a believer, you're gonna say, God, you are my healer. Yes. You're gonna pick up your word and you are going to seek God. Yes. And once you get in your spirit that you are healed, then walk in it. Hallelujah. Because if you don't walk in it, but you read, you're doing nothing. Mm. We must walk by faith and not by sight. That is the mm. motto for life. Mm. And that's a whole nother layer and definition of walking by faith. That's walking as if this thing is not. Yes. That is a blessing it is you know and the other half of praying is to make corresponding actions yes you 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 can't just say god please heal my leg and then you go you you get healed and then go play football do your part is what you're saying yes do you your part do you gotta do it be a joint heir be yes. a co-laborer help yes. god do your part yes. don't expect for him and that is the case with anything sis that we uh, come in contact with anything mm -hmm. that we encounter. Yes, you know, do yes. do our part. Uh, yes, whatever the dream is, whatever the vision is that mm -hmm. God's given us, He's not going to do the whole thing. You know, if you want right. a job, He's not going to fill out the application. <laughs> it's like do your part, yes. do your part, yes, and He'll do the rest. Give yes. Him something to bless. Yes, right. Yes, give Him something to bless. <laughs> yes. Praise God. That is just wonderful. That is just amazing. Um, Brain tumors are the fifth leading cause of cancer-related uh, deaths. But it doesn't have to be. When you stand on the word of God, yes. when you believe in God, when you're seeking his kingdom and his righteousness and knowing that all of these things will be added unto you, including your healing. Yes. Talk about parenting right now, sis. Uh, we had uh, Sister Stacy Thornton in here doing quality time uh, in the last hour. And she was talking to a wonderful uh, woman who is in the Unified School District, uh, one of the leaders in that arena. And they were talking about schooling and COVID and what impact that's having on uh, learning. How are you getting along with your 9 and 11 year old during this time? Well, two weeks before everything broke out, the coronavirus broke out. God had me pull my children out of school. Okay. Come on. Come on now. Tough. And in obedience to Holy Spirit, I just followed along with everything I knew to do, which was just to stay on top of things, remind them what it what it takes to get there, and also remind them of our history. Because yes. we got so dug into, oh, Martin Luther King, I had, he had a dream. But it's not just that. There's things that he, there's other things that he went through. In fact, there's more people. It ain't just him. Right. So I got them the book by Dash T. Harrison mm -hmm. called Little Leaders. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's, it has all the black girls mm -hmm. for, for, for the, for the girls and then for the boys, all the black boys. So you can see what everybody did. There's so much. It's a thick book. It's a little, it gives a picture because she drew the picture yes. and it gives a summary of what they did. Wow. and how they impacted black history and it it does take away from their social you know communication you know with other children but we but i make sure that we we do go outside every day mm -hmm. and they have iphones an old iphone mm -hmm. but they facetime with their cousins mm -hmm. and that's how we have to communicate for now yes. and then also with um like church stuff it's all on Zoom. Yes. So they can interact and, you know, play, you know, be in communication that way. But just one step at a time. You know, the inter everybody's on the Internet. We've constantly been having Internet issues, but we just take a break. Yes, we'll yes. We'll just go ahead and take a break. We'll go ahead and revisit this in a minute. But let's just stay calm. That's wonderful. Um, and so uh, such a great use of the time such a great use of your time to be yes. building them as people and to instilling their heritage yes. in them. Please tell us the name of that book again and the author. It's called Little Leaders okay. by Dash T. Harrison. Little Leaders, Dash yes. T. Harrison. Yes. Wonderful. I think that sounds like one that we can all uh, pick up mm -hmm. for our kids, if not for ourselves. Yes, for to ourselves To be rooted too. and grounded in our heritage, knowing where we came from and the yes. great men and women who went before us yes. and to make sure our children have that tool 
uh, in their hands uh, so that they can know that, hey, they are somebody yes, came are. from greatness, that yes. they are greatness, that yes. they can achieve greatness. Mm -hmm. So I think it is an amazing time in our history. Yes, um, yes. And we should, uh, as Bishop Omer was saying this morning, we should be coming out of it with something. Yes. We should be coming out of this time yes. with something because truly God is doing something in this hour with his people. He, yes, is, he is giving us an opportunity to center ourselves. Yes. Um, I'm just grateful to God for you and for mm -hmm. your your testimony and you know for reaching out to Lisha and asking to be on the show that blesses my heart to know if one person can be blessed by this program then my labor will not have been in vain yeah. so I thank God for you and for your testimony yes, for we've got another one of your tracks coming up uh, it's called uh, victory and we're looking forward to uh, hearing how God used you to pin this piece um, called Victory. Uh, we're spiritually connecting here on the Real Urban Radio Network. I'm Jeanette Aguia. That's Talisha Gatlin. And we are glad that you are with us. Hope you are having yes. an amazing uh, Sunday. Hope and pray that all of your needs are met, that you have peace that passes all understanding, that God is having his way in your life. Um, we just honor God for you. We honor God for all that he's doing. Um, and thank you. Thank you for connecting with us. Um, we're going to listen to Talisha's track, okay, called Victory. And when we return, we will do more connecting here on the Real Urban Radio Network. So you stand by. God bless you. Oh. 
Yes, keep clapping, Willie Willie. It's okay. That's amazing. That is absolutely phenomenal. You just heard Victory by Talisha Gatlin, or you may, Talisha Williams is how you can find her on the social media platforms. And that was her piece entitled Victory. I'm talking about straight word, okay? Straight, straight word. I know the plans God has for me, okay? They're good and not evil and to bring yes. me to an expected end and walk by faith and not by sight. And your whole testimony about your tumors and your six rounds of radiation and all of it was in there to encourage somebody to know that they've got victory in Christ Jesus. I'm yes. excited about that song. Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Yes. Glory to God. Yeah. That was my first song. That was the first one. And then you broke out and you rapped a little bit for us. Yeah. You was, mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> It was amazing. Yes. It is amazing. Yes. Thank you. So tell us, you said that was your first one. Where were you? And when when did you uh, pin that one? At what point in your life? Once I moved back to California, because after uh, radiation from and where? losing housing from, from Louisiana, okay. um, I, the Lord told me to come back and yeah. go to my home church, Greater Light in Santa Ana, okay. and be a part of the children's ministry. Uh -huh. So I did that. And I was listening to some instrumentals, because I like instrumentals, and I was journaling, because I journal a lot. Mm -hmm. And that journaling, I, I was just feeling good. Mm -hmm. Oh, walk by faith, not by sight, is the, is the motto. Yeah. The is way deep. So, yeah, and I was telling my children, they're like, Mom, you're That's not pretty. supposed to be rapping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, 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 but there is something here. Yeah. And the Lord woke me up. Uh, like three o'clock in the morning and I was ready and he just gave me all the words to just put it all together because there were words from you know they're, they're scriptures yes absolutely. you know with a few you know words you know lines of my testimony yes but the Holy Spirit have you put it all together it and yes hooked it up and it, it, it's <laughs> absolutely amazing and you know uh, there's nothing like hearing a gospel song that is straight word of God um, it instills it in you and you can't go wrong when you are singing Amen. his word. Right. And that's that's what I find in your pieces is that you are singing the word of God. Yes. And it helps you remember it. You know, yes. you've got that rhythm and hook yes. behind it. And and the kids, the rapping aspect of it truly will appeal. Yes. It does appeal yes. to a younger crowd. Yes. So God is using that to, to be a blessing to the multitudes, to yes. so many. So God bless you, dear lady. I love that. <laughs> Glory. I love that. <laughs> so what's you. next for you? What is God saying is next for you? I just graduated. Congratulations. From Hope, yes, from Hope Bible Institute in Louisiana. Yes. I have my bachelor's in theology. In theology. Yes, so I know how to execute that word yes. a little bit more better because after going through everything I went through, mm -hmm. I had to make the declaration that I will live and not die. Yes. And then the yes. other half of that is, and I will tell yes. all what God has done in my life. Hallelujah. So that means that I must go evangelize. Come on, sister. So <laughs> I evangelize. Yes. I just want to share what it is that God has done. My only mission, of course, is the Great Commission, to go out and make disciples, and tell everybody about God, and, yes. and to encourage believers, and to save sinners. That's mm -hmm. That's it. And you're doing it so effectively today. Thank you Glory for to God. ministering to us. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you for allowing him to use you to be a blessing, to be that light that sits upon a hill that can't be hid. Glory. To testify and tell of his goodness. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In addition to uh, being a single parent, to God bringing you through uh, the brain tumors and the rounds of of chemo the way he did the, what else can you say uh, I know that was God where else in your life can you just point your finger and say that was a God move he's kept me in perfect peace mm -hmm. because when I tell people some things that I went through like my first two brain surgeries they opened my face I can't I can't 
I can't <laughs> see. I cannot tell. I mean, so look at how beautiful you are. There you. is no scar. No. <laughs> they opened your face. Yeah. And people don't believe what it is that I'm saying because God's blessed me to have some humor. Yeah. So I... I, I make jokes and I laugh, but I don't play when it you know when it comes down to the word of God right. and the things of God. Um, but He allowed me to make that move from Louisiana to California, all on just a word He told me when I was sitting in church. And I I have no job. I actually I'm still waiting for my social security to get approved. Right. They keep telling me, you guys stop telling me no. They keep telling me no, and their response is have another surgery, you'll be all right. But I receive that they haven't approved it because I am healed. Because yes. that's the only reason why they don't want to give it to me, yes. because I am healed. Yes. So I tell my mom, don't worry, it's okay. Yes. Because I haven't been able to work. Mm -hmm. And I don't qualify for cash aid because I do get child support. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so being in a position like, God, what am I going to do? I live in Irvine. Mm -hmm. My rent's 1500 mm -hmm. but. But God paid it. Yeah. He paid it. And then the city of Irvine said, you know what? You have been a resident for a while. We're going to pay your rent. Jesus. So Jesus. God will have, that's why you have to be obedient. Yeah, just, walk just, by faith, just, girl. Yes, you have to tap in. And it's so, it's, it's so important. Yes. It's so important to, to spend that time with God. Because he's going to let you know what it is you must do. Because just as we're on our post right now. Yes. There's somebody else that's on their post waiting for you to cross their path. Mm -hmm. God has already assigned them to be there. Mm -hmm. And then I just trust God because he tells me, seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and all his righteousness. Then all these things, the things that I'm asking for, I'm wanting and yes. yearning for, I got to go to him first. Yes. He going to add it after I know his will. Mm -hmm. And then the desires of my heart, he tells me that they're going to yeah, come. But I don't even have the desires of my own heart. I just want his will Whatever to be done. Will. Yeah, That's Lord it. Jesus. So, it, okay, you got this, Lord. Whatever your will is, Lord, let you that be done. You, in the name of Jesus. You got it. Wonderful. You know, that's truly another testament of his faithfulness, that's of his him. grace, of his mercy, of his uh, sustaining power. Yes, Lord. Uh, to just have finished working on your uh, master's degree your bachelor's degree yeah. in theology, uh, being a single parent, mm -hmm. living in Orange County, and not having a job. That must be God. Because <laughs> <laughs> my family like, what you doing, Talisha? Should she go to Rialto? Or, you know, or saying, you know, Talisha, come move yes. out here by us. Yes. It's like, but God has purpose for me right here. Yes. This is a purpose stop for me. Yes. It is a purpose stop. And in this season, I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to make sure I do exactly what God would have me to do in this season. Yes, I'm so excited about it. I'm excited about your attentiveness, your attentiveness to <laughs> what God is doing uh, yes. in your life in every moment, in yes. every hour, uh, being tapped in. And we're in a place in this season that we all need to be tapped into yes. what God is doing right now. Um, yes. It's a different time. We're experiencing things we've never experienced before. The social distancing, hmm. uh, so many jobs not being accessible, unemployment being at an all-time high, uh, weeks away from election, um, and all that surrounds the election. Um, it's a critical time. It's a time in which we need to draw nigh to Christ yes. as he uh, draws nigh to us. And I, I believe that. I believe that. Uh, knowing that he's able, that he yes. will bring us through, that yes. he is God, that he's yes. got the final say. He's yes. got the last word. He's on the throne. Yes, he's he control. is. Believe and that. he's on time. He's an on-time God. <laughs> now, speaking of on time, Speaking of on time, God, I think that was just so appropriate. Such a fantastic lead in Thank to another Lord. piece that you did. It is called On Time, God. Yes. And um, I look forward to sharing with our listeners, with our viewers, uh, another one of your tracks called On Time, God. Um, 
Yeah, I am. I am like the word that yes, yes, yes. He is an on time God. Yes, he is. I, I'm hearing some Dotty Peebles in there. Yes, uh, who also sing about him being an on time God. Oh, yes, um, and he has certainly been on time in your life, Delicia, with overcoming uh, the brain tumors and having so many surgeries and so many treatments. So yes. Um, I know you to know him now to be an on-time God. He was there yes. for you yes. when you needed him uh, with your children, um, with Each housing, time. with all that you needed. Everything. And uh, we, we honor God for that and for the people who he has positioned in your life. Your church here again is? Here it is. Um, actually, I'm attending the uh, the Rock in Anaheim. The Rock Church in Anaheim. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. And your pastor there is Pastor Jerry. Pastor Jerry. We are spiritually connecting with Talisha Gatlin on the Real Urban Radio Network, and we are about to hear another one of her pieces called "On Time God" (OTG) right here on the Real Urban Radio Network. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Forms. Uh, look for Talisha Williams. That was on time, God. And we thank God for you and your gift 
and you sharing it with us. It is wonderful. Glory to God. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What a wonderful testimony it is. You know, uh, there are like 28,000 people who would be diagnosed with brain tumors um, this year. What would you say to the individual who has might be diagnosed with that? And what are the symptoms? I mean, how did you get your first diagnosis? How did you know to that something was wrong? I stopped breastfeeding my daughter uh, when she was about six months. And then when I, you know, after you have a baby, you gotta come back after a year and check everything out. And at my meeting, or at my appointment, I still had milk coming out of one breast. Mm -hmm. And I did, you know, the cabbage thing, like people in Louisiana was telling me, where I could put some cabbage in your bra and dissolve the milk. I did all of that, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. But it still continues. So I got referred to an endocrinologist. Mm -hmm. They ran blood work. I had an elevated prolactin level, mm -hmm. which is your your sensor for stress. Mm -hmm. So, which lets you know that I was overwhelmed. I was extremely overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know it. And so they told me, go ahead, take this medication, and it should stop. It did stop, but I had to have an MRI to be released from the endocrinologist's care. Mm -hmm. The pituitary gland is the size of a pea. The MRI showed a, a tumor the size of a golf ball with lubes, meaning it looked like a big octopus was wrapped oh around my pituitary my. gland. Oh my. And that was the indication and how I received the news that something was going on. Yeah. But to hear that, it makes your heart drop. Yes. But instantly, even, whatever report anybody can ever get, as soon as you hear it, your mind goes into, well, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. How can I do better? What is it that I need to do? So actually, it is a good thing to go ahead and get a bad report. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get one. Mm -hmm. Because then you're going to start making healthy steps. Mm -hmm. You're going to start getting educated on what you need to know. Mm -hmm. You're going to start seeking God. Then That's my prayer is that you're seeking yes. God first. Yes. And then you'll know what you have to do. And even if no one's there with you, God is there. Amen. I went to those appointments by myself. Mm. I remember calling my cousin Erica, and her and I are really close. And I was, I called her every day. Mm -hmm. I had no car. I had to drop my children off at a daycare center that I don't know nothing about. Take the bus from Irvine to your Belinda. That's a long ride. Yes, yes. And just to have all those things in my mind. It's the last time I've seen my kids. Am I going to spoil them? Buy them everything I can? I don't know if I'm going to die. All those things, but just being focused, okay, we have a situation here, and you got to start brainstorming. Just figure out, well, what is the steps that you need to take yes. for your healing? Yes. And then once you know that, walk in it. Yeah. Just walk in it. It's, it's going to be okay. Wonderful. It's going to be okay. You might have some some rough days. That's okay. Go ahead and play Tupac. You just, you know, just yeah. be mad and yeah. punch the air. That's fine. Get it out. Yes. But then you got to come back to reality. Mm -hmm. And know that it's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Because what you say, your words manifest. Yes, your words have power, life. Life and death is in it's, it. It's in our tongue. Absolutely. It's in our tongue. Yes, it And is. even after, I mean, we can pray and do all those things. And we can still get a bad report. But keep, keep pressing. Mm -hmm. I am healed. Yes. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. I'm going to drink my alkaline water. Yes. I'm going to take my medicine on time. I'm going to, you know, do, mm -hmm. do whatever you have to do. But it's... It's a good thing because now you're aware of what's going on and what you got to do to get better. Mm -hmm. so. so praise God. Praise God that you found out uh, the way you did. You found out when you did and he intervened and healed you from that. Um, an amazing, amazing testimony. And oftentimes people don't know uh, the questions to ask. It's like, uh, what do I ask of a physician um, about this? Yeah. brain tumor what are some of the questions that I should have mm -hmm. when um, confronted with such a, a dilemma um, one is to know the name and the grade of whatever it is that we have uh, if it's benign or malignant uh, want to know your treatment options yes 
and what kind of side effects uh, mm -hmm. those options would have. And, and then asking a physician, if you, what would you do? You know, if yeah. they're giving you all these options and choices about what to do, mm -hmm. the question to put back to them is, what would you do if you were in my position? Yes. Um, if ask about clinical trials that you might be eligible for. Mm -hmm. Second and, opinion. And a second opinion is the last thing is who can I see for a second opinion, honey? <laughs> okay, who's gonna tell me something that I don't want to hear? <laughs> okay, who's gonna tell me something else that I want to hear? Okay, yes. so um, we just pray God uh, grants us all good health. It is important during these days to stay as healthy as we can to do the right thing. Yes. Um, underlying health conditions uh, is a big, big problem uh, for anyone contracting uh, COVID, this coronavirus that's happening right now, this pandemic. Yes. Uh, so we just pray that everyone stays safe and that they stay healed. Uh, Talisha, what is it that you would want to say to our listeners today that you haven't had the opportunity to say that you certainly wouldn't want to leave this platform without sharing it? I thank God for your ministry and for what he is going to do in your life Glory and for, I mean, coming through that storm, going through that fire and coming out, sis, not even smelling like smoke. Hey, so I thank like God <laughs> for you. I mean, you look amazing. But what would you have to say, Talisha, uh, to our listeners that you uh, may not have had uh, the privilege to say yet that God is putting on your heart? I want you to feel free to speak, sister. That God is the same yesterday, today, and evermore, forevermore. Yes. He healed back then, and he heals today. Yes. And he's going to heal tomorrow. No matter it is, no matter what it is, God can handle it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what time it is; He's on time. Mm -hmm. You can have a four fifty nine situation; He'll be there before five o'clock. He will be there. He will be there because His word will not return to Him void. Yes. And what God says, that's it. Yeah. And see, we're spiritually connected, so I encourage every believer to get into Your Word, not just read it, like we were told as we all grew up. Or even now, go read your Bible. No, but study that Bible. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a, 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 a study Bible. I have a Thomas Nelson study Bible in the King James Version. And I'm starting to talk backwards, kind of like Yoda, because we talk like Yoda talks backwards. Blessed we are. Mm -hmm. But when you look, then I was looking at, um, you know, reading the Word of God. The Word of God talks like that, too. Mm -hmm. So blessed we are. Yes. Healed we are. Yes. Awesome is our God. We will talk backwards because yes. we're the ones who are, well, now in this day and age, we're actually backwards. Mm -hmm. But we got to get in alignment mm -hmm. because as soon as you know when your car, just as I said earlier, when your car needs to be serviced, you know something is wrong with your car, mm -hmm. especially a tire alignment. I just had to go get one yesterday. Mm -hmm. My car was just drifting off. Mm -hmm. And that's the indication in life. Sometimes we drift off. We're with yeah. the wrong people. You scratch your head. Wait, I don't. I don't smoke. Why am I over here at the hookah bar? I, you know, yes. I don't. I don't drink like that yes. no more. Yes. Yes. And the, and see the things that you have been freed from. The Bible tells us, don't, don't go, go back. back. Don't go back. That's a word from God to not go back. Yes. Because see, mm. those spirits that do leave, they gonna come back seven yeah. times mm. stronger. Jesus. And then the familiar one's gonna come back around to see. Talisha, you still want to talk to me? Mm. Talisha, you good? Come on now. But oh, if I, I but if I have on my armor, yes, my whole armor, honey. yes, your helmet of salvation. I'm gonna remember who I am. Yeah. I'm not gonna have nobody hurt me because I'm gonna have my breastplate of righteousness yes. on. I'm gonna have my belt of truth on because yes. I know it now. And your feet shod. Yes, ready to go Hallelujah. to share the gospel. Hallelujah. And have the sword of the spirit with me Hallelujah. and praying at all times. Yeah. And as long as you are equipped, then you can go out. But if you are not equipped, you need to stay really mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. So it's a blessing that coronavirus is here. Mm. Because now you have time to get your relationship in right the house. with God. Come on, sister. And you get to share with your children. Yes. Share with your family. And also look at yourself. Mm -hmm. The man in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself. Evaluate your relationship with God. Yes. How is your prayer life? Because yes. it can always be better. 
Hallelujah. What Glory an amazing to word. Glory to the Most High. Glory. I receive that in the name of Jesus. You have Jesus. been an amazing guest, an amazing guest, and we thank you for sharing your testimony. We honor God for and we just pray his abundant blessings upon you, upon Amen. your family. Thank you. Uh, one of the questions that was dropped on my heart during this COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic is, you know, how are we going to test? How are we going to test? And we want to test positive for things that are the fruit of the spirit, for yes. love and joy and yes. peace and humbleness and gentleness, meekness and, yes. and long suffering. We want to test positive mm -hmm. and we want to test negative for everything that's in our flesh, that's adultery, right. fornication, uncleanliness, yes. lasciviousness, yes. idolatry, witchcraft, yes. hatred, variance, yes. all, of, all of those things. We want to test negative for it. So it's been an amazing, amazing hour with Talisha Gatlin. Be sure to go online and and purchase her CDs, okay? Purchase her, her EP uh, and be blessed continually by her music. You'll find her at Talisha Williams online, okay? Uh, remember those songs? They were absolutely amazing. I Can't Go Back, Victory, and On Time God, yes. uh, Talisha Williams on the Real Urban Radio Network. It's been amazing. Rory Darvell will be up at 5 o'clock with uh, Old School Radio, Attention to Detail Old School Radio. Um, I'm Jeanette Ahagia, and on behalf of my amazing guest and uh, Will Utley, our photographer, producer, videographer, all of that that he does, we thank God for him. We thank God for you, and we pray that you will be back with us uh, next week, we have a guest who I haven't met, just Yoki, and I look forward to uh, meeting her. And yes. don't you hesitate to call and reach out. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Yes. God bless you, Facebook friends and family. Thanks again for being with us. We love you. Have an amazing week. Sir.